Hello trivia friends, welcome back to Detour Mentes. My name is Sean, I hope you are doing well. I've put together another 50 trivia questions to test your general knowledge and see how much you know about the world around us. Keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly, check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. There are 5 topics in today's quiz and the topics are All Things Science Historic Firsts Mixed Trivia Questions Fictional Characters and another round of Mixed Trivia Questions. Let's start the quiz. The aardvark is native to which continent? Is it Australia, Africa or South America? You will find it in Africa. What do you call a one followed by 100 zeros? Is it a nonaginta, an octillion or a Google? The correct answer is Google. What do you call a male duck? Is it a tearsel, a drake or a flick? It is a drake. What do you call the visible portion of the outer ear? Is it the pinna, the tympanum or the cochlea? It is the pinna. Eczema affects which part of the body? Is it the skin, the eyes or the kidneys? It affects the skin. What do you call the second full moon in a calendar month? Is it the harvest moon, a blue moon or the blood moon? It is a blue moon. Which is the sixth planet from the Sun? Is it Saturn, Jupiter or Mercury? The correct answer is Saturn. In the abbreviation SETI, what does the I stand for? International, Independent or Intelligence? Intelligence. What do you call a weight suspended from a fixed point that can swing freely? Is it a fascia, a pendulum or a dowser? It is a pendulum. Which SI unit is used internationally as a measure for radioactivity? Is it Geiger, Becquerel or Phantom? Becquerel. What is the name of the first animal to make an orbital spaceflight around the Earth? Yuri, Laika or Ms. Baker? It was a dog named Laika. In which city was the first human to human heart transplant performed? London, Cape Town or Perth? Chris Barnard in Cape Town. What was the first studio album released by English rock band The Beatles? A Hard Day's Night, With The Beatles or Please Please Me? Please Please Me Who was the first European to reach the country of India by sea? Vasco da Gama, Marco Polo or Thomas Cook? Vasco da Gama who was the first person to fly faster than the speed of sound? Chuck Yeager, Buzz Aldrin or Neil Armstrong? Chuck Yeager Who discovered the world's first successful vaccine? Ernest Rutherford, Louis Pascal or Edward Jenner? 
Edward Jenner. Who is considered to be the first reigning queen of England, Queen Elizabeth I, Queen Mary I or Queen Anne? Queen Mary I. Who became Italy's first female Prime Minister, Jacinda Mussolini, Giorgia Maloney or Maureen Le Pen? Georgia Maloney The first people to summit Mount Everest was Edmund Hillary and Phileas Fogg, Lamu Tondip or Tenzing Norgay. Tenzing Norgay Which scientist was the first ever to win two Nobel Prizes, Albert Einstein, Michael Faraday or Marie Curie? Marie Curie Due to her Vietnam War activism, by which other name was Jane Fonda also known? Hanoi Jane, Charlie Rahman or Jane Fundy? Hanoi Jane Which denomination of US currency is often called Benjamins, the $100, $1,000 or $10 bill? The $100 bill Which is a traditional type of boat found in Venice, the kayak, caboose or the gondola? The correct answer is gondola. What do you call someone that collects vinyl records or music CDs? A vinophilist, a discophile or a musicologist? A discophile. Which country is also known as the cockpit of Europe? Is it Austria, Switzerland or Belgium? Belgium What does Hublot, Chopard and Breitling manufacture? Is it champagne, watches or cookware? Luxury watches Who was US President when the Gulf War started in 1990? Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton or George H.W. Bush? George H.W. Bush In which country will you find the mouth of the Amazon? Is it in Brazil, Argentina or Colombia? The correct answer is Brazil. In which sport did Conor McGregor achieve fame? MMA fighting, WWE wrestling or IBF boxing? In MMA fighting. In music, what do you call a gradual increase in loudness? A minuet, a crescendo or an allegro? It's a crescendo. And it's time for the bonus question. In Hindu culture, which festival is also known as the Festival of Lights? If you know the answer to this question, leave your answer in the comments below. Also, if you are enjoying this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. Can you name the various fictional characters? Obelix Olive Oil Hello Kitty Woodstock Bonnie 
Beetle Bailey. Handicap Olaf Dick Tracy Betty Boop Dilbert As at 2023, which of these companies is the most valuable? Amazon, Alphabet or Apple? Apple In which world does the lion, the witch and the wardrobe take place? In Oz, Middle Earth or Narnia? The correct answer is Narnia Which is the most common fish used when making a Caesar salad? Sardines, anchovies or pilchards? Anchovies What do you call an ammunition storage and feeding device for an automatic rifle, a magazine, a carbine or a muzzle? It is a magazine Which author is renowned for his eldritch horror fiction novels? H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe or Bram Stoker? H.P. Lovecraft What is the name of the sacred texts in Buddhism? Is it the Torah, Tripitaka or the Tao Te Ching? It's called the Tripitaka In total, how many children did Cleopatra have? Four, five or didn't she have any? None The correct answer is 4. In which city will you find the historic Bolshoi Theater? In Istanbul, Moscow or St. Petersburg? It is in Moscow. What do you call a cow that has not yet born a calf? Is it a heifer, a dam or a weather? It's called a heifer. What do you call an excessive admiration of your own beauty? Is it narcissism, dividends or megalomania? The correct answer is narcissism. And that's it for today's trivia quiz. How many questions could you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the bonus question. Which Hindu festival is also known as the Festival of Lights? If you know the answer, leave your answer in the comments. And if you enjoyed the quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.